everyone, this is Mindy and welcome back to another video with Honeybee Stamps. In today's video, I found another way to use my gel press. Now this may not be a surprise to some of you, but it was kind of new to me and I couldn't wait to try it. This is actually a technique that I seen at Creativation recently for 2022. So I really couldn't wait to just find a card that I could put this on and create with it. Now I have to apologize if the top portion of my card looks a little wonky. My camera does not like holographic cardstock, but I love it. So here's my gel plate that I just have stuck down to my glass surface. And to do my prints, I am going to be using uh, just some Distress Heavy Stock cardstock because that's going to hold up to the water. And these are tonic, I forget the name, I haven't used them in so long. They're shimmer powders. I used to use these all the time and I haven't used them for a while. So I sprinkled them on to that gel plate, sprayed that with water, and then I'm bringing in that heavy stock cardstock and just smooshing it down. So this is why I'm using the heavy stock or if you wanted to try watercolor paper, you need something that's really going to hold up to all of that water. So here's my first print. It gives a very natural watercolor background and it is so easy to do. So I will be listing the colors at the top that I used. The first print I used two colors. This one, after I cleaned off my gel plate, I'm only using the, I think it's the meteorite. It's more of a black, but it's got a lot of color in it. So after I sprinkle that on, spritz down some water, placed my paper on top to smush that through, here is that second print. Now these are very wet right now, so I'm gonna set them off on the side to dry while I clean up my surface. Now here's a look at both of the backgrounds once they are dry, which I helped along with my heat tool. And I am going to trim these out using the Sweet Stacks Rectangle Die from Honeybee Stamps. This is going to allow me to pick and choose which part of the background I wanna use. So for right now, I'm only going to create with the one background where I had used the Meteorite Shimmer Powder. It's more of a black and blue type of background. So to start, I need to stamp my sentiment. So I'm using congrats because I think I'm going to be needing a lot of these cards. I'm stamping this down in the Intense Black ink. And this comes from the Thinking of You Big Time, I believe it is. I will have everything listed down below in the video description and also headers in the video as well. So after I cut this out with the coordinating die, I am going to bring in the new mini buzz cutter. This is adorable. So I just got this. I still need to kind of wipe it down from just manufacturing. It's got a little bit of dirt on it, uh, but I was so excited to get this. This is super cute. It opens up just like my Platinum 6. And this is why I trimmed my sentiment strip down is because I needed it to fit on these small plates. So I'm just running that through and it die cut beautifully. Now I also had die cut out a few of them because I'm going to layer them together, but this just folds up really nice and I can tuck it off in the side, off on the side of my desk. So off screen, I had done a bunch of die cutting. I cut the secret garden three times from white cardstock and once from holographic cardstock. And what I wanted to do was layer the white pieces up together for dimension, but then I wanted to offset it with that holographic cardstock. Now an idea hit me as I was kind of layering these up is I thought of maybe adding texture to my secret garden die cut piece. And to do that, I am using the spring leaves pierced uh, cover plate. So this definitely could have been done ahead of time or before I even had used the secret garden die, but I didn't think of it at the time. So I'm lining up one of these panels with that spring leaves pierced plate, and then I ran that through the die cut machine. So it has all these little pierced dots all over the leaves. It's really, really neat in person. But like I said, for some reason, when I was taking pictures, I took them like two or three times. And the holographic cardstock and I think even that piercing was just throwing my camera off. I think I was confusing my camera. Now I'm just layering up all of those pieces that I had die cut. So like I said, I had three of them of white and I'm using liquid glue to do all this. And then I have the one piece die cut from the holographic and I just offset it ever so slightly. I just really wanted some shine back there. 
Another way for me to add shine to the background is to take some Perfect Pearls and put a little bit on my work surface here, mix it up with some water, and then flick this all over the background. I do really love how this background turned out. It's very natural looking and I really didn't have to do a lot, but I just needed a little bit of something yet in that background. So that's where the Perfect Pearls came in. Now once that's dry, I can come in, add that liquid glue behind everything, and attach this whole piece to my background. Now there's a lot of glue, there's just, it's heavy. So I'm going to grab a couple of my acrylic blocks and just set it on top and let it sit for a few minutes to dry and really adhere to that background. Now for my sentiment, I really liked the congrats kind of at an angle there. And I didn't really want to fuss with a bunch of small pieces of foam tape or foam squares. So that is why I die cut out about three more of these just from some plain white cardstock. And what I'm trying to figure out is which part of that congrats is only in the center because I want it to be nice and flush with the border that I have because I have so much dimension there. So I'm just figuring out what part of that word is going to go in the center and I trimmed everything else off. So now I can layer these together. I will add some liquid glue to this little piece here, add it to another one of my die cuts, and then trim off that excess. So once I attach everything across the front of my card, it's not going to have a bunch of high and low areas, and I didn't have to futz around with foam tape or foam squares. So now I can add that kind of... Um, dimensional piece behind my actual stamped word. And then I'm going to take the liquid glue, add it behind that whole entire sentiment and add it to the front of the card. Now I felt like this was still kind of missing something. So off screen, I went ahead and I stamped a smaller sentiment to go underneath my congrats. So I stamped you did it, which is also off of this thinking of you big time stamp set. I just did it in white using the black ink and I trimmed it down to a thin strip. And I'm going to repeat what I did with my congrats word. I trimmed out some more skinny pieces of white cardstock and I'm going to layer them up. This is another piece that part of it is going to overhang my board. Order, so I don't need the whole thing to have dimension to it. I just need parts of it. Once that is all completely layered up, I can add it to the front of my card right under the word congrats. So I was really happy with my sentiment, but yet something just wasn't quite feeling right. And what I ended up doing was creating a border to go around my card in just plain white. Now, I really could have done this with gold or holographic or even black to make it stand out a little bit more but I'm using those Sweet Stacks rectangles. And I took um, two different sizes. I think it's like the first and the third size. And I just held those together with low tack tape and die cut it out. So it created a perfect border to go around the edge. It just, it did take a little bit of time to make sure that they were even on all the edges. So once that was done, I could just take that liquid glue and add it to the front of my card. So that is going to finish up my card project for today. Here is a closer look at that piercing that is in the leaves that I did. I have a lot of techniques in here that I ended up doing without really planning on doing that. If you wanted to grab one or all of them and give them a try, it is a lot of fun. And they were just subtle things that you can do to add just a little bit more interest to your cards. And this is just one of those cards that looks way better in person. The pictures are okay, but... With the holographic and the piercing, it just looks way better in person. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today, and I'll see you again soon.